Kevin. Well, it's the best I could do. The car's being serviced and all the rental places are closed. Serious, Becky? Maybe if you'd given me more time, I could... Yes, I know. Marry me. I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm still here. Marry me, Bex! But I'll find you, I promise. Are you sure that there's no chance? appeared in both windows. It's going to be OK. We can deal with the baby. Don't say it. You know, I'm not ready to hear that word. If you can deal with anything, Ra, I've always known that. Trying now. Look, you better go home, mate. Eh? I'll be waiting for you when you get back. I'll be waiting for both of you. Job tonight, Mick. Just one last look, eh? Oh. Puts a rolling pin down your trousers, then. Break it up, you two. Honeymoon starts when we get this lock cleared away. Good. Do it. I've got some business in town. I'll see you back at the lockup. Be safe, Mick. As ours, sweetheart. Sheffield. Lunchtime. I'll be in Sheffield this afternoon. Yeah. Easy laugh. I'm on my way. No, I'm on the train. What, the great they got better things to do to wheel me around. Well, look, just run yourself a hot bath and don't forget the breathing. Anita, honey, you don't do a diary at the beginning of the day, you do it at the end. It's a story Dad told me. Keeping a diary, eh? Good idea, look, I wish I had. Write it all down, eh? Don't want to forget all them good things, do you? Glory, glory, 
Man United. Just go and sit down with your mother. Go and sit down. You stay close to her. Look, what the hell is wrong with this train? I'm late. I'm, I'm very late. We're arriving in Sheffield in just a few minutes. Probably cost more than your house, Sonny. So chill. Oh. 
Has anyone know how long we've been down here? Detective Sergeant Ian Hart. They're dead. I want you all to take a few deep breaths and stay calm. We are getting out of here, and we are getting out of here now. I want one person to climb through that broken window and try and free the rubble that might be blocking the doors at either end of this carriage. I'll go! Not you. Why not me? Not you. I'll go. I'll do it. I'm not so it's all right, I've got you, I've got you. you got to go well, take it easy, then. Well, maybe I should go, eh? I'm going. I know I'm only a girl, so if I cry off to a nail, then a man can come and get me, eh? Okay. Kelly.
the train. Mita! Come here. Come here. Come here. Mita! Calm down. Here. Hold this. Don't get yourself killed over this. I'm not the one who's going to nick you. Present for you. What is this? Ask her. Soldiers, I'm off the same way that fellow went. Yeah, we'll go there, you know me. No, you might bring it all down on us. It's okay, it's a bruise. My dad's gonna be really worried about us. Yeah, I know. My folks are waiting for me back at the station. They must be going out their minds. I don't want to have that dream again, Mum. What? What dream? The dream on the train. The one where I couldn't breathe. Mr. Hart, were you unconscious back on the train? Don't you remember a dream? I do. Vividly. I was underwater. It was freezing cold. I couldn't breathe. That was my dream. I didn't dream. Thank you. 
How bad is it? Well, it ain't Senator Parks. This. This was in your bag. What was it? Some sort of gas? It wasn't a gas. It knocked us out. What the hell was it? Believe me, you've got bigger problems. That's right. I've got my temper to control. That looks like the old sweet factory off the Chesterfield Road. This can't be right. rock 12 miles in diameter strikes the earth and energy waves fan out over the surface and they rock everything up like a carpet. Well, we were 6,000 miles from the point of impact. And point of impact? What? Central Zambia. Most of Africa's gone. Huge tidal surges would have been created in the Indian Ocean. Can you imagine? What are you talking about? Here. You said it was a sweet factory. Yeah, that's it all there. You don't have a fag machine in here. Mum, Mum, come in. Water, clean water. How do we get to it? I can't believe this. All this equipment was spotless a couple of weeks ago. It's all rusty. Be careful, you two. Mercury. Can't drink this. We could boil it. This water has a very high heavy metal content. It's safer to drink from a toilet bowl than this. Hold still, love. That's where they made the mints. Upstairs. Gobstoppers, umbugs, creams. We could smell it down the road. The kids on the estate were mad for it, that smell. Bloody wolves out at the moon they were. That mixture of chocolate and mint. It was in the houses, on the curtains, in the gardens. In the summer, it was like the old estate was made of chocolate and mint. This... this won't have happened in Kettering, will it? Five months ago, a body of rock broke away from the asteroid belt. I'll be on the orbit of Mars. Please, this isn't helping. Shut up. Everyone was tracking the asteroid. They tagged it SD-426. Everyone? 
This rock hits Zambia and half of Sheffield falls over. An asteroid the size of a football could hit your house and make a crater that swallow your whole street, plus a few adjacent ones. SD-426 is about the size of Birmingham. This is ridiculous. There's nothing on the news about an asteroid. There's been a programme about it on the telly, surely. Like that one on the other night about the earthquakes. Well, this information was classified. I mean, nobody even believed it was going to happen. Jonathan's was, was a lone voice. Hey, well, you know hey, what about it. Take it easy. Hey! And you know what happened to us on that train. What's this? OK. Harriet Ambrose. What's Ark? We freeze people. <laughs> Dead people. Live ones. Why? So that they can sleep through situations such as this. Your gas froze us on that train. It's not a gas. It's a microparticulate suspension. <laughs> It's magic fairy dust, OK? Ark makes magic fairy dust, and we use it to put people into absolute suspension. This is about hibernating the great and the good to sleep it out until the planet's fit for habitation again. So how long were we frozen? I don't know. Weeks. Weeks? We were down there for weeks. Frozen in a train carriage while an asteroid from Mars blows up the planet. You know, no. I had a mate once. Said he was kidnapped by creatures from another planet. One minute you sat there watching Match of the Day, there's a blinding light. Next thing you know, there's some bug-eyed spaceman shoving a robot up his ass. Please stay off my side. <laughs> my heart stopped and I wasn't breathing. I would be dead. At absolute zero, molecular entropy ceases. You didn't die because your body didn't need anything to survive. Your heart wasn't beating, but your system didn't need the blood. You couldn't digest the food in your stomach, but your muscles didn't need the sugar. You weren't breathing, but no oxygen was required. You were frozen. <laughs> but you understand? Do you all understand now? You were frozen, and the world has been destroyed. Oh, <laughs> Lisa, that's a rubbish. Oh. But there are no bodies. There have been a major disaster. There will be bodies strewn all over the place. But there are also no people. So there's obviously been an incident. But they could have been evacuated. So there will be a field centre with a medical unit and a crisis team operating somewhere in this vicinity. So finally, somebody's speaking some sense. Yeah. I'm going to get help. Well, I'm coming with you. Me too. Yeah, well, I'm not standing here listening to Doomsday. Listen, there. you don't no, know what's out there. We've listened to you. It's, it's gibberish, there. woman. Now look, there will be an answer to this. Sorry, I saw the ring. Hey, it's just the ring now. The neuron disease took her. Not rocks from space. Funny thing is, I wasn't going to get that early train. Margaret said I should stop for a bit of lunch, but I wanted to get back. David was coming home tomorrow been in the Greek islands on a sailing boat with Terry. 
I really like Terry. David was dead nervous about me meeting him, but... I may not be the most modern person in the world, but I could see when my own son was happy. David needed shirts for work, so I thought I'd get home early and crack on with the ironing. I thought when he came home, he'd appreciate... talking about him in the past. Like he's already gone. Please be in the bunker. I'm here. I made it. Maybe you can hear me even though I can't hear you. So listen, Jonathan. I'm gonna find you. Wait! Where are you going? There's some bloke, Guppy. Geddes. Jonathan Geddes. Oh, whatever. He's alive. She's been trying to contact him. Someone who can help us. Why didn't you say anything? The party's over. Listen. Maybe they're like, you know, sniffer dogs or something. Maybe it's help. Found. Oh, I don't like the look of them. Let's get out of here. Bunker. It's underneath us. It's been there for years. This used to be the select part of town. There's no one. Get this. No. Come out of your government hole. Where are you? Look at the vegetation. 
Impact must have thrown up half the Zambian jungle. With seeds and spores carried around the world. I've read about this. I've, I've talked about it. Come on, you. He was the man. Oh, the man. The man with the van. <coughs> Tires are flat. What's this? Dream job. This is cash. It was cash. That's why Ian knew you. You're a thief. Ah, freelancer. Well spotted. Right, now, down to business. Will be frozen. Answer me. I'm sorry. This is a Mercedes van. She'll run till doomsday. We've had doomsday. Come on. Oh, honey, you're burning up. Look at you. Oh, a couple of hot babes, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't want to go 20 bobs either. I I just want to go home. I know, sweetie. So 
So how many boyfriends you got on the go, then? None. I don't like boys. No, I. That is girl, are we? Dad'll find us. There we were. That's what he used to say. I'll find you. Wherever you are, I'll find you. Push! I am pushing! Harry, I thought you said you'd done this before! I'm, I'm burning! Ah! Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, crazy. Oh Jesus, crazy. What shh, was that about? There's nothing there. It's just ruins. Ruins and nothing. I'm sorry. Shh, shh, sorry. What? what did you see? I'm so sorry. Look, we've been going around in bloody circles here. It's right. Turn right, turn right at the end. No, the hold first on a minute. Haven't we been here before? Do you know where you're going? Will there be others with this Jonathan Geddes? Eh? Harriet! Uh, no! We go back for the others. What? No, look, in the long term, it's better that we find Jonathan. Then we can help them. No, bullshit. We go back for the others. Look, there are children back there and it's raining battery acid, for Christ's sake. Whose van is this? Stay where you are. Off. What? what are you talking about? I'm talking about a parting of the ways, mate. 
I'm talking about me driving off in my van. We need that van. Nick. Sorry? We need that van! There is no bunker and there is no Jonathan whatever. Hold on. Oi! No, 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 hang on a minute. You no, get no, out of no, my no. van! What's going on? But you said you'd take us. That was before I saw it out there. It's over. I'm going alone. No. I won't let you go. Hey, it's my oh, van. Yeah. Please. We just sat on a train together. I don't know any of you lot a thing. Oh, yeah, and where are you going to go, Mick? Hey? Hey? Because you're the one who's got a great way of escaping, aren't you? You're the man with the plan, aren't you? So how are you going to get out of this one? Why don't you just do yourself a favour and listen to me? You're still playing scout leader, detective sergeant. You only work when there are rules. And there aren't any rules anymore. You get this, copper. The only person I trust to look after me is me. No one is asking you to look after us. In fact, that's the last thing I want. But this van is a lifeline! We do not survive if you drive off! To the right! You know one last five minutes out there, and what am I gonna do? Follow you! Look at you. You look like something a cat dragged in. You bastard. Yeah, bastard world. Look, forget about me, but at least take the kids. Give them a chance. We can find this bunker together, all of us. Hey, they're dead. Everybody's dead. <laughs> the whole planet could be dead. And you want to add to the body count. It's okay to be scared. No, 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 no. We, can, we can find the bunker together. Look, I, I have access. I have clearance. And there'll, be, there'll, be, there'll be high nutrient food down there. There'll be bedding, you know, all sorts. Even people. Anything is possible with John. <laughs> Come on, let's try. Let's, let's just give it a try. You know, what, what can we lose? Until I do, I've decided that I'm going in this van of yours. So if you don't want that, you'll have to kill me. of Anita Nixon, age 10, day one. When I shut my eyes, I can still see the people. I can hear their televisions and smell their cooking. And then I open my eyes again. And even though it's only been a short while, it's like they never were. <laughs> 